Anyway, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and welcome to another uh, shelf video for you. Today I'll be doing shelf 11. Uh, just to let you know, I just got a brand new phone, so I'm going to test it out with doing my new shelf. I finally got upgraded my phone to a new phone that actually works well. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on to shelf 11. All right, so right off the bat, we have some films on the top. Uh, right here we have uh, Loving Monsters, followed by Lightning Bug. Then we have uh, The Man from Planet X. What is, I'll put these over here. All right. Then we have uh, Killing Spree, which I'm going to put up there for now. So I can actually do some moving. Shit, I guess I can't. All right. Uh, King Cobra. Uh, cool take on a giant killer snake. Uh, Kingdom of the Spiders. Classic of William Shatner. The ending. I love that ending. Uh, Kiss of the Tarantula. About a girl who kills people with spiders. Night Chills. Um, it's a slasher. With a uh, has to do with role playing and everything. They all make fun of this guy for role playing. He summons a knight to kill people. <laughs> Actually, it's a little budget, but I didn't mind it. Uh, knight of the Dead. Uh, some knights versus zombies. Uh, Nightmare. This is another uh, slasher with a knight. Uh, Kiss of the Damned. They were on the watch of that. Uh, knock Knock. Another one I had not watched yet. I heard it was pretty cool. Colobus. Colobus is cool. It's kind of like a uh, big brother with a slasher. Uh, Komodo. Some fun sci-fi with a killer giant Komodo dragon. Then we have Komodo dragon versus Cobra. More sci-fi channel goodness. And of course we have Kraken. Tentacles of the Deep. About a giant killer octopus. Or I should say a Kraken. <laughs> I'll tell that up there for now. Uh, Krampus, love this movie, classic Christmas horror. Uh, Kronos, we have his giant robot, pretty much. Whoa. Crawl, I love Crawl. It's like if a, a horror, sci-fi, and fantasy all came together as one, you have Crawl. I love it. That's fun. Not a lot of people do, but I do. Uh, Lady in White, this is a cool, uh, kind of like, this kid finds a body and comes to find out there is a killer among them. And he's trying to find it and the ghost is trying to help him out. I thought it was well done how they did that movie. Uh, Lady Terminator. We have Laid to Rest. And the sequel, Laid to Rest 2, Chrome Skull. They're fun, Chrome Skulls. Uh, Laid to Rest is pretty cool. Uh, Lake Dead. Still have to get around watching. Oh, did I watch this one? Yeah, this is the one where the people are all at a uh, resort and these weird rednecks family tries to kill them. I don't remember which one's which. Uh, Lake Placid. <laughs> Bill Pullman. Uh, giant killer crocodile. Then we have the sequel. Uh, Lake Placid 2, which was a sci-fi channel release. And the rest of them are too, with uh, Lake Placid 3. Lake Placid, the final chapter. You know when there's a horror movie called Final Chapter, there's always more. And guess what there is? With Lake Placid, the legacy, which is technically part five, I think, or six. And of course we have Lake Placid versus Anaconda. What a weird title. But again, some killer croc films. Uh, Land of the Dead, that's the remake. I liked it, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Langoliers from Stephen King, made for TV movie. Uh, I like what the way they looked, the creatures. Uh, Larva, another cool uh, creature feature, sci-fi channel with uh, giant larva. Look like giant kites that eat people. Uh, laser blast. This is a blast. Guy finds this alien weapon, starts blowing shit up, and he starts mutating into a alien. 
Uh, Laser Hawk with Mark Hamill. Oh, I almost dropped it. And it's weird, it's the weird slim case. So, get on to watching that at some point. Uh, Lasso. Lasso's pretty cool about a bunch of people who go to like a um, cowboy, you know, adventure where they're hog tying cows and doing all this weird shit. People are left behind and the cowboys are killing people. Up here we have uh, the last gasp. It's a slasher from Vinegar Syndrome. Which at some point I get to watching. Then we have uh, the last broadcast. Sci-fi. Uh, <clears throat> Sci-fi. Sci Found footage. Pretty much before Blair Witch. Uh, Fangory presents uh, the last horror movie. It's actually not bad. Uh, the last Lovecraft relic of Cthulhu. It's like a horror comedy with to deal with H.P. Lovecraft and you got these weird tentacle monsters and everything. It's it's actually pretty cool. Uh, the last Thanksgiving slasher on Thanksgiving, which actually was okay. Uh, the Lawnmower Man. And of course, Lawnmower Man Part 2, the sequel. Yeah. Sorry for my floor's a little dirty down there. It's a little messy. Uh, Lava Lantula. <laughs> yeah, another sci fi channel about giant spiders coming from the earth that spit lava. Yep. And of course, we have the sequel, Lava, <laughs> Two Lava, Two Lanchula. Yep, you know how Sci-Fi Channel does that shit. I'm surprised they haven't made a third one yet. With Steve Gutenberg. Uh, leeches, pretty much by the swim team, who does uh, steroids to get into a pond, and the leeches suck their blood and turn into giant leeches. And yeah. Uh, the Legacy. Legacy is pretty cool. About a family who uh, gets together and someone is the legacy of this family. And of course, other family members are dying one by one. Uh, we have Lucid. This is a film that I got free from this... Uh, uh, who the hell sent me this free? Oh, I think I bought it with... I bought um, Goat Sucker. About Lucid Dreaming. And how this woman is giving these dreams about murder. She's killing her boyfriend and other people. So, actually wasn't bad for what it was. Uh, the Legend of Boggy Creek. Classic. I love that movie. So creepy. Of course we dropped something. Uh, the Legend of Hollow Jack. Fun. Uh, I actually didn't mind that Halloween slasher. From uh, Walmart. And the movie that I dropped uh, is uh, Legend of the Bog. It has to do like a bog creature, but it's not really a creature, it's like a giant dude who kills people. Uh, let's see. Uh, Legend of the Chupacabra, another fun sci fi uh, creature feature. Uh, Legend of the Psychotic Forest Ranger. It's a slasher about a forest ranger who is pretty much sadistic and kills a bunch of campers. Uh, Legendary with uh, Dolph Lundgren. Uh, pretty much he's an asshole in this movie. And Scott Atkins is like this survivalist. They go to China to find this giant monster that's hunting down workers at this plant and starts picking them off. I like that. It's a cool creature feature. Uh, Let Me In, the remake of Let the Right One In. Both classic uh, vampire flicks. Uh, Let's Scare Jessica to Death. It's a slow burn, if I remember. Uh, Lethal Target. It's another cool creature feature. Uh, Monsters Practical and everything. Uh, the Lighthouse. Lighthouse is cool. It's shot in black and white. At first I didn't like this movie as much. I thought it was kind of dull. But I got... This has grown on me a lot. 
Uh, little devils. Awesome uh, little devil monsters that get revenge on this one dude. He makes them out of clay. I liked it. Then little Aaron Merriweather. This is a slasher where the victims are all men. Then we have the Lost Skeleton Returns Again, which I need to get the first one from the top. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors Classic with uh, Jack Nicholson, which I think this Blu-ray is out of print. Speaking of out of print, we have Low. Uh, Low is really cool demon uh, film with a love story involved. Then we have the Loch Ness Horror. This is a bootleg. I wish someone would get this and put this on a release, but the killer Loch Ness Monster. And then we have Loch Ness Terror, which is another Loch Ness Horror Monster sci-fi channel. Locust, the Eighth Plague. We have some killer locusts in this movie. A lot of kills. Uh, Long Time Dead. This is a cool supernatural slasher. Um, they summon a demon with a Ouija board. And it starts picking them off one at a time. Uh, Lord of the Illusions, Clive Barker. Yeah, not too bad about that. Uh, the Lost Continent. I love the Lost Continent. I grew up to this one as a kid. Uh, during a storm, this boat crashes into a uh, island. Actually, no. They all jump off because it's carrying explosives. So the rowboat lands on this island made out of living plants that strangle people and there's all these different monsters and everything and it's kind of weird but it's cool uh the lost treasures of the grand canyon another sci-fi channel uh creature feature uh the lost voyage with jed nelson i think this was another made for tv movie up here we have the minion with dolph lundgren who's hunting a demon that goes from body to body who is after a specific artifact, and if they can get it, oh, it's a key, and if they get the key, they can open up the gates to hell, pretty much, and release the demon, the devil. Uh, Love Butcher from Code Red, so I get around to watching that. Uh, Love in the Time of Monsters with uh, Kane Hodder. There are a bunch of uh, guys who work at a uh, Bigfoot uh, tourist trap. And then I think it was a dump of toxic waste in this pond. And when they wrestle and they end up into the pond, they start turning into these monsters with these Bigfoot suits on. And they start attacking a bunch of people. <laughs> Pretty cool flick. Uh, Lover's Lane Valentine's Day Slasher, which is actually pretty good, not bad for what it is. Uh, Luciferania, it's all about possession and girls go on a bad trip, pretty much. Uh, the Lumberjack Man, if you want a cool slasher, check out the Lumberjack Man. This is the Canadian release. Uh, very high body count, a lot of cool deaths. Uh, there's even someone who gets crushed by giant pancakes. Yes, pancakes. Uh, Lung Part 2, this is a sequel to... Um, I think it's flowers yeah that's just fucked up shit right there uh ma ma was okay i wanted i wanted more from it but it was okay before it was, it was all right uh the mad you have a zombie film based on mad cow disease magic magic's awesome with dennis anthony hopkins uh mccall this is the bollywood version of Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm so shocked that this got a Blu-ray release. So we have McCall. Bollywood Freddy. Uh, Mail. This is a Asian horror flick. That I have to get around to watching at some point. Mammoth. Another sci-fi creature feature. About a giant woolly mammoth. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, the man who killed Hitler. And then Bigfoot. It's pretty cool. Manborg. Oh man, this movie's crazy. Uh, it's like futuristic, weird shit happening. Uh, pretty much Manborg. Up here we have, uh, um, I can never get this one right. 
Magdalena. This is like a glow in the dark cover, but the cover is now peeling, which eh, I'm just happy for what it is. So I'll throw that over there for now. Uh, Man Eater. Uh, this is the Canadian, or no, this is the UK release of uh, what's the name of there's. I hope it's the same title. Unnatural. That's what it is about the killer polar bear. So this is a killer polar bear movie. It was done by the uh, Eight Horror Fest. One of the ones it was like the Burn on Demand DVDs. That was weird. Uh, the Man Who Laughs. This is like how they uh, were pretty much they got the idea for Joker and everything. I know there's a Blu-ray of it. I got to upgrade at some point. Uh, Man Versus. A uh, guy who runs a survival show who now has to survive against a monster. Mandrake. Cool sci-fi uh, killer plant movie, pretty much. Plant monster. Man's best friend. Cool mutant dog killer. Um, oh, what kind of dog was it? Oh, it was a big dog. It's got all these different um, uh, traits of different animals. It's kind of cool. Even peas acid. Uh, the Mangler. Um, a lot of people like this movie, but I definitely enjoy it. Um, the sequels are different, <laughs> but The Mangler's awesome. Oh, I'm losing my thing here. All right, we have the Maniac remake. Now, I do have the Maniac movie in a different location because it's a thick uh, edition, so I have that with my big editions, if you want to call it that. Uh, the Manitou. I love the Manitou girl has this growth on her and it's actually a weird uh shaman-esque creature demon <laughs> it's so fucking weird uh the mansion of madness by uh Mac mondo macabro i found this it's like i'll pick it up i don't know anything about it it's mondo a lot of them are kind of rare, rare and hard to find uh the mansion of doom this is put up by full moon up on top here, we have Messiah of Evil. This was really good. Um, pretty much this girl goes to find her father into this small town. And then, of course, there's something wrong with this town. They start uh, turning weird, have black eyes and shit. She's accompanied by a couple people. And, of course, they're all getting picked off from the town members. Kind of reminds me of uh, Dead and Buried. But a little different, though. Uh, Mars Attacks. Yep. It's <laughs> based on a card game. Uh, we have Mary Mary Bloody Mary. Another one I need to get around to watching at some point. Uh, classic with the Mask of the Red Death. Then we have the Mask of the Red Death. I think this is from the 80s or 90s. 1990. This is like a more of a slasher. Mausoleum. Oh, this movie's awesome. If you've never seen Mausoleum, highly recommend it. Uh, May is another awesome movie. Think of it as a female Frankenstein movie where she gets picked on and everything, so she kills a bunch of people to make her best friend. <laughs> May is great. Uh, Mazes and Monsters with Tom Hanks. Uh, this is like a made-for-TV movie where Tom Hanks is in college and they get introduced to like a Dungeons & Dragons type uh, board game and he starts losing reality and he starts thinking he's actually in the game uh, he even relates to re resolves to murder and everything because he thinks they're monsters pretty cool uh, the meatball machine <laughs> crazy ass Asian flick aliens turning people into like robotic bloody mutant monsters and then you have meatball machine 2 the sequel up here we have uh, the Mechanical Man with the Headless Horseman. Both are silent films from the 1920s. 21 and 22. So, yeah. Up here we have Monolith. Where the safest car is your worst enemy. Pretty much, uh, she leaves her baby in the car to get out or something. And the baby's trapped. So all the terror is inside the car. Uh, Medusa, another Mondo Macabro I need to get around to watching. Mega Snake, cool creature feature sci-fi channel. 
Memorial Day Massacre. <laughs> this is a fun slasher. I never knew about anything about it until Vinegarson put this one out. Yeah, slamper at a slasher at a uh, resort, like a camping resort. On Memorial Day. Oh, I hate the stickiness. Uh, Meridian from Full Moon. Then we have Metal Shifters, another sci-fi channel. I think it's also called as this is called the Iron Golem or something else. About a giant iron statue that comes to life from this alien bacteria and starts turning killing people uh metamorphosis the alien factor kind of like a uh if you want to call it a sequel to the deadly spawn but it's all practical monster effects really click really cool flick uh mexico barrio this is a mexican anthology flick put up by the horror pack then we have a you know a Mexican werewolf in Texas, pretty much it's like a werewolf slash chupacabra style. That's a fun creature feature. Then we have Mikey, cool killer kid flick. Up here we have Monster Hunter. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Okay, so I'm almost done here. Uh, Midnight Evil. No one got to get around to watching. Uh, the Midnight Man. I thought this was a pretty cool creature feature. Like um, the they play a game to summon the Midnight Man, and of course they have to try to survive. Uh, Midsummer, awesome flick. Uh, Micadroid, Robo Kill beneath Disco Club. La Layla. <laughs> yeah, pretty much about this. Uh, I think it was like a World War II project that was designed, but it was built underneath a disco club. And of course, the robot is loose now and starts killing people. Pretty awesome flick. I loved it. Just the title alone, too, is pretty badass. Uh, the Millennium Bug. Awesome, another creature feature based on the whole Y2K scare, but it's kind of like. A creature feature with the hills have eyes. Uh, we have Mimic. I have the Mimic Trilogy in a different location under my multi-packs. Uh, Miner's Massacre, low-budget slasher. Uh, mirror, Mirror, but a possessed mirror from the 90s. Then the sequel, which is Mirror Mirror 2 Raven Dance. Uh, the, the, there's four of them, actually. And then the other two are on an out-of-print DVD. Uh, Mirrors with Kiefer Sutherland. I liked it for what it was. Not a lot of people didn't like this movie, but I definitely enjoyed it. And then we have the sequel, Mirrors 2, which I thought was pretty good for what it was. They're both based on um, an Asian horror movie, so it's like the Americanized Kind of like how they did it with The Grudge and The Eye and Shudder. And last for the shelf, we have The Mist, Stephen King. This is the black and white and colored version. Fucking awesome movie. Love The Mist. That ending still leaves a hole in your soul. <laughs> All right, guys. That is it for my shelf 11. Uh, please let me know your thoughts. And let me know in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more shelving. Later, guys. Peace.